Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and some people may be still searching for the perfect person to spend the romantic day with. Even though ways to meet people are limited right now, the online dating scene seems to be the place to find potential love. That's right, and Kyla Peoples buzzed around the dating app Bumble to find out how people are dating in the D. Finding your potential soulmate may seem like a hard mission, especially during a pandemic. But according to the matchmaking app Bumble, dating in the D is red hot. Honestly, dating across all ages is popping. And so I think that anybody who is excited to find a connection, right? Whether that's a short-term connection, a long-term connection, a life partner, our daters, you know, despite everything going on in the world, our daters still want to get to know one another. Now I know what you're thinking. I've tried the apps before and they're just not my thing or I'm never paired with a person who's my type. Well, let me tell you, for the past few months, it's been the place to meet new people. What we have heard from our daters is that actually 80% of them expect to use Bumble the same or even more than they were before between now and Valentine's Day. So. To me, that means that our daters are really out there looking to find that special someone. Okay, now you're interested. But I gotta tell you, the dating game has changed. There's this concept called slow dating, and it's basically this new, the new speed of what it means to date. And what it is, is daters are kind of across the board being very intentional and are taking their time and getting to know somebody before they maybe take it to an in-person date with a mask on or in a you know, kind of virtual date even. They're really spending time building a strong foundation. Our daters are able to, on their profile, indicate what type of dates they're interested in going on. And so we have a badge that allows them to say, hey, I'm really just here for virtual dates right now, or I'm here to go on socially distanced dates, or I wanna do a socially distanced date and I'm gonna wear a mask, I'd like for you to wear one too. And by indicating that on their profile, they are then able to like have the conversation without having the conversation. And while you're thinking about potential slow dates, you got to work on that profile. What we actually encourage both men and women to do is to build their profiles with friends or with family. And we say that because, you know, oftentimes friends and family are the ones that know you so well and know all of the great things about you and are also not shy in talking about those great things. When scrolling through potential suitors, have fun. This is all about finding happiness. Be excited, be optimistic, be hopeful, and when they need to take a moment to recharge, that's totally okay as well. So if you're ready to get back in the dating scene, you've picked a prime time to be dating in the D. Mask to mask, okay. Wow. Joining us Why live. are you laughing? It just looked look funny. <laughs> uh, Kyla thing. Peoples joining us live. What else was said about the dating scene right now, Kyla? Fill us in. Well, according to Bumble, virtual dates are so popular that they're teaming up with Airbnb to do international dates. Now, this is where you can have wine in Paris or dinner in Italy and it's from the comforts of your socially distant home. Now, there, there are some fees that go along with this, but I think this is a great way to get to know someone while you're dating in the, during a pandemic. Uh, Kyla, you are going to do more of these Dating in the D segments, right? I am. And we want to hear from our viewers, our friends, about their experiences dating in the D, whether it's good, bad, or just plain interesting. And all they have to do is go to our Facebook page and leave a comment. All right, before I let you go, I have to ask you, since we were talking about it earlier in the show, where are you planning on going out now that dining and in, in, inside dining is back open again? Do you have a place in mind or have you already been? I haven't been yet, but I, there's like two places I want to go to. I want to go to Tom's Oyster Bar so I can have some oysters and a Spanish coffee. 
And I also want to try the highlands. I want to see the city while I eat a great big steak. Spanish coffee and like oysters on the half shell, like raw oysters? Yeah. With Spanish coffee. It's good. Yes. It's delightful. Try it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jason got a stomach ache. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, Thanks, yeah. Kyla. Spanish coffee and oysters. Do you like oysters? They're okay. They have to be made right, like everything.